Hello. Okay, so uh, this is solar eclipse, new moon solar eclipse in Cancer. And uh, I've decided to use the color orange because I heard it's good luck for me. So I'm just going to go with it. This is the only orange thing I have. And the marble was shiny too much. So um, I've been guided to... Um, I guess we're going to do this uh, a different way. So we have failure, seven of stones. Something's come. Um, seven of stones is seven of pentacles. It's not failure, it's waiting. So waiting, waiting, failing and wait, waiting. Again, we have Eon, Aeon. I got this card. I remember I got this card. So this is um, judgment. No, yeah, judgment. So judgment, a second opportunity. So after failure, a second opportunity. Oh my God, these cards are not cooperating, are they? Oh, this one fell out. Mother of Swords in the South, Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords had to leave someone behind, her husband he wasn't treating her good it says science for six of swords but it really should not be saying science for six of swords but that's what it says it says defeat for five of swords okay somebody wow uselessness <gasps> Oh my God, somebody's really suffering here a lot in their own thoughts, in their own uh, misery. It's going to take a lot of strength and courage to move ahead, to go forward, uh, to push through. Sorry for the glare. Three of Cups, a new emotion is coming. So a new emotion is coming in. And a wish come true, nine of cups. Unless this is a lot of drinking. Um, after a really difficult nine, nine times, somebody's gained wisdom. Somebody what thought, okay, also this is, this is also very um, at prior and after. What was viewed as a wish come true, nine of cups became a nightmare filled with anxiety and disappointment mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah ace of cups in the north oh this is overflowing three of cups okay so it's gonna take strength to um Gather the emotion to pursue what you want to do, to pursue your dream, to pursue a lot of anxiety, uh, sleepless nights thinking about this venture. And um, it's almost like you've already defeated yourself with the Five of Cups. And then, then a new emotion comes in, the Ace of Cups. The Magician, yes. Okay, so it's time to create, time to make things happen. Uh, you know, the Magician has everything they need in their toolbox. They do not need anything else. They just need to move and start taking action. Um, yeah, but there you've been stuck with some illusions of success, like, you know, going for things that really are not going to bring you uh, success. Maybe scams, maybe uh, low vibrational things, maybe not thinking clearly about futuristic long term goals. Seven could be. Yeah, so this is a spiritual time. But there will be success here for the future. There will be a success. Everything will be overcome. Anything else? 
this one's coming in upside down oh the star upside down maybe there's a delay there's a delay in this wish come true there's a delay in pursuing what you want um, healing there's a delay in the healing Father of Swords in the South, represented by Egyptian Ra. Father of Swords, so this is, you have the Queen of Swords. You have a couple here. Moving on. Moving on after a hard breakup. And failing at it. Because you're not moving on, being stuck, coming back to the old shit. Yeah, uh, too emotional to move. The unknown secrets, uh, the mother. Father of Cups. Someone who um, is mature here, who can handle emotions someone who uh, can be counted on to see things on a in emotional level on a conscious emotional level emotional intelligence that's what the king of cups has is emotional intelligence and um, and then we have the universe which is the cycles coming over Cycles ending soon. There's a cycle ending soon. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use the reversal deck. So this is a complete ending. The Emperor? No. Oh, this Justice card. Maybe a delay in justice, a delay in legal matters. An injustice. An injustice, but now a new beginning, a new start. Uh, leaving things behind, not waiting for things to change, just saying, you know what, I'm just going to go start over. This is not working out. I'm just going to go start over. So this is validation to the one that I had given earlier. Yeah, the King of Pentacles upside down. This is a lazy person, a person who uh, is perhaps, le he's a player. He's leaving, um, oh, this is the Queen, not the King. Oops, okay. This is a, a person who, um, a woman who, who is lazy. Yeah, reverse. She is lazy. She doesn't want to work. She wants things given to her probably because she's pretty and she feels like she deserves it. This is uh, a bad cookie, a bad seed, a bad seed. This is a bad seed. Yeah, three of swords. So this has to do with a situation where um, maybe there's been a party of three and uh, this woman, she did pretend to be something that she's not. She's not a good mother. She's not a good provider. Uh, she's not caring. She did, she doesn't care unless she, there's a benefit for her. And then here we go, the cycle. Yeah, the 10. The, uh, the wheel, the wheel of fortune reversed. So this has been a delay in this, um, because of the heartbreak, because of the pain, there's been a delay in, in this happening. And a delay. Somebody hasn't been making the moves. They haven't been going forward, uh, pushing themselves. They haven't been doing the healing work, the healing work. They're really in a great deal of pain right now because the Three of Swords is just completely on the on the upside. So that means that they're really feeling that um, they're stuck. They can't move. They are impotent. The sun. They are not seeing things in a positive light. This has to do with their childhood. It has to do with the child. It has to do with the child. Just got this new deck. All right, both of these 
I just got. All right, so let's see what else we got. So quick random read. Um, so this is uh, <laughs> Ali Jade with Ascended Stars. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you for your viewership, support, com supportive comments. Um, apologies if, uh, well, no, I'm just pushing your really good solar eclipse and um, season right now with the new moon and just make, you know, wonderful advance advan advancements. Okay, so now we have somebody taking charge um, of their life. They're looking at things more positive. Maybe this is just like, you know, complete end of this cycle. They have to end the, the pain. They have to, um, but it has to do with their childhood. It has to do with um, not being able to feel worthy here, uh, not being nurtured when you were a kid. And um, taking control of the situation. Uh, having more passion than than self-doubt, right? Uh, there's a lot of passion here. This is coming very close, very, you know, like it's going to flip. The script the script is going to flip here because every this energy, somebody was down, they weren't focused, they weren't productive, they weren't, stuff was sliding, and now they're taking control. Two major arcanas. Give us another one, Spirit. Somebody's story out there. Oh, we got two. Nice. The tower. Whoa. Something is happening here. Something's coming down quickly. Oh my God. Something's coming down quickly. Oh my God. It's coming as a surprise. This is a. Uh, This could be somebody that is taking control. This could be a real different person here. I mean, this doesn't seem to represent the other person. So this could be somebody who just says, you know what? I need to take care of the children. And they're going to come in by surprise, maybe. And we got conflict. There's going to be a conflict. There's going to be a conflict. There's going to be a fight. <gasps> Eight of Swords. Oh my God. We did not expect this. We did not expect this. Okay. And we have these, this tarot deck and the other one. So we'll just keep. I have three, but. All right. Let's use the other one. They're telling me to use this one. Okay. Let's use this one. It's the reversal deck. Oh goodness, this is going to be a conflict happening because emotions are high. Somebody's getting heated. That eight, that red anger. The moon. Secrets are coming out. Secrets about the mother. And that queen of pentacles reverse could have been a bad mother because she's not a good mother. Um, she's not nurturing. So it, it could be about a mother. Okay, the moon. So... It's reversed. The moon reversed. It could be about repressed emotions. Secrets? Let's find out. What is this about? Let's put a clarifier on the moon. There it is. Perfection, Four of Wands. So maybe, oh my God. Okay, so maybe somebody has a really, has mommy issues. And um, there, there was somebody who mothers them, but they think that they mother them. But <clears throat> this person's, not healthy this person is is not a good situation there's secrets there that there's a, a bond there's a bond that's been happening since childhood and it's a dysfunctional bond and this there's could be mental illness there could be fucking mental illness shit Somebody thinks that somebody's okay, but they're, they could be mentally ill. They could be 
um, they could have erratic behavior. They they don't know any better that that's not good behavior. That that's not that's not the way that conflict. They don't get it. They don't. They they they've conflicted inside, loving someone who might have a mental illness. Okay, um, who might have mental illness. That's what I got. They're conflicted inside because they love this person. Mother of Stones, the Queen of Pentacles. Here she shows up again on the right side. They don't know better. They don't know that she's not healthy. Somebody's going to discover that their mother is mentally ill or that a mother taking care of children is mentally um, unstable. Okay? Mentally unstable. Peace, two of swords. They have to make this choice. They have to make a choice to move, to um, deal with this, to deal with this. They're conflicted, okay? There's going to be some kind of unexpected event that's going to happen. They're going to be conflicted. They have to make this choice. There's somebody here that's mentally ill. Uh, could be a, possibly a female, a Virgo, a Taurus, a Capricorn. She could be a mother. She's, you know, um, this person has known them since childhood. And there's going to be, um, they don't think there's anything wrong with this person. They don't think that this person has mental illness or anything uh, emotionally or anything, even I'm picking up anxiety. They, they think that's just normal. That just could be, oh, that's just a woman thing or whatever. I don't know, but, you know, it's conflicted. They're conflicted now. It's something they're going to be guided or, or awoken when this tower moment comes and they have to make a choice. Let's get another one. Have my window open. <sighs> Nine content. Yeah, they. Oh, good. They'll have peace once they make this choice. So this world card is about. They haven't made this choice. That it's been sitting heavy on their heart. It's been. It's been. Um. Brewing. It's been brewing. It's been brewing. Okay. And, and this person's been so conflicted. Um, they've been in their head. They haven't been using uh, their heart. They haven't been using their heart. They haven't and this and, and, and they haven't been in touch with their emotions, okay? Um, it, it doesn't have to be mental illness. It could also be complete uh, addiction. An episode, okay, could be relapsing too, okay. So that's another thing, but uh, there is gonna be peace, okay. Two of Swords. Once the choice is made, you have to use your wisdom. Number nine, um, you have to use your wisdom. You have to be mature about this, okay. Maybe go to somebody who's older, you know, because nine is the Hermit card, um, or maybe just meditate and just focus on it, you know, just let it you know it's not going to go away though i'll tell you this thing is not going to go away but let it let it uh simmer i guess you know i don't know what to tell you this is a lot of information here that's crazy all right let me get pull the energy cards see what they say about this okay two came out wait is this the energy card wait Oh, happy family. It could be a family issue, but it's upside down. So it could be like having to deal with the family um, circumstance. Something, maybe somebody doesn't realize that some, you know, the, the, the mother's, um, something's going on with the kids or the kid's not good. But I think it's, I think it's something emotional, imbalanced, envy. Yeah, man, this is crazy. There's some negative energy in the family. Maybe it's just, it's not even, this person doesn't even have an excuse that they're mentally ill. They're just a nasty ass, envious person, okay? You're not only, you could deal with something that's envious, but you could be dealing with a mother upside down that is um, diabolical, okay? She's diabolical. She uses children, too. She uses children to, to get what she wants. 
and this is going to turn out okay you got the sun okay so this is it's going to be positive um result it's about children okay again and again the children coming out so there's going to be a salvation for um somebody who's been oppressed maybe who's a child could be a leo child um but <laughs> crazy like I didn't even think that was gonna come out okay let's see what else somebody's opening up their heart they have they've been they've been conflicted they haven't been using their emotions they've been thinking about things um, now that they've been thinking thinking and maybe putting the dots together maybe seeing things in a different way oh gosh the devil they've been bound by their own carnal desires okay they have they have not put the, um they put themselves first and they've been cheating he, he's the great deceiver this there's a lot of deception that's happened here and justice is coming now justice is coming now okay justice is coming now somebody's making maybe that emperor's coming in making that executive decision to remove or to fix the situation to come in and take control the lovers a choice so this has to do with um a romantic situation they perhaps they didn't want to let go perhaps they were just in a very good comfort situation they did not want to say anything they did not want to get involved because they just needed to be with this person without any conflict You say stuff to people, you know, especially about their kids or anything these days, hypersensitive, um, you know, especially your lover. This is a very weak person that doesn't have character. Things are moving ahead. This is the reason why I got this deck. I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> I love this deck. I love this card. Okay, things are going full throttle ahead. Okay, there's going to be movement. The chariot, which is cancer energy. There's going to be movement. Uh, whatever you guys, whatever was planned or whatever this deception is there's it's it's you know god is taking over now he's in, he's got hold of the reins because it's a number seven yeah baby yeah that's okay so let's pick some angel cards too wow um this is quite a reading and i do hope that closure comes to the situation if it happens to be you or whoever I'm, I'm reading for a situation out there uh, I, I really hope that peace and closure and that children are safe that they're rescued or I don't know I do pray for them okay spiritual growth so somebody's spiritually growing somebody's making the right choices here uh, they're they're they want they want to they're, they're maybe recognizing the the, the mistakes right there's new love coming here also um once maybe this has been stagnant there hasn't been a good this has been stuck on this toxic energy and trust trust that everything's going to work out this person needs to have trust and faith that everything's going to work out maybe they've just been so fixated and think anybody was going to love them the way that this person has loved them but now they recognize that you know something's going wrong somebody's getting hurt it's not right and they're surrendering it beautiful beautiful let's pick a um wisdom of the oracle no 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 no. the mystical deck okay that's the one that's the one we're gonna do one more mystical deck. we'll do three of the mystical decks why not give it a lot of positivity here a lot of healing a lot of this pink love energy which i like so much Oh my goodness, I just was like, I have to do a reading and then I didn't even say anything to you guys. I just started doing the reading and I, I'm going to post this so it comes out in the early mid midnight or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Ow, follow your intuition. So this is about wisdom. Somebody has wisened up. Okay, somebody um, is maturing. Kudos. You're mature. You're mature. You're maturing. I can't talk. Spiritual growth. Okay, so that's that's where that's going and you're going to be getting a new beginning with a new love okay begin your whole new love life something beautiful something 
that has life in it, not death and morbidity and deception. <laughs> That's a nice thing. So cheer up, um, live in the moment. So maybe the cross watcher who's watching this, maybe they're the situation that they have experienced or um, if it's your situation, it pans out. Cheer up because the new moon is going to bring in some new energy, some new love vibe and uh, a new love and new beginnings. So this is nothing but real positive after a very torment. Maybe there was like emotional torment and uh, fatigue to the point to get to this place. So I hope this has resonated for someone out there and I wish you the best. <laughs> take care. Please just re take what resonates and leave the rest. And um, I, I trust that you'll be using your higher personal truth and judgment for the situation in your life. So please go ahead and subscribe if you feel if you feel like you would like to follow, continue following me or I'll catch you on the next video, darlings. But it's better you subscribe so I'll always come up on your feed. And um, one of these random reads may be yours. <laughs> Who knows? But thank you so much. and Or give a comment and like. So much love and light. Bye-bye.